good evening Jules here from Jules Designs on JT Creations and another one in the interactive series is this little pocket um, card and it's a twist and pop up so you can put photographs um, any type of ephemera and it folds flat into your journal okay so what we start off with is a piece of card that measures 19 centimeters across this way and eight and a half centimeters or nine centimeters across this way we fold it in half the long ways and then this one's eight and a half centimeters so because it's nine centimeter, 19 centimetres, you have to take the, the eight and a half centimetres has to be where these folds are from this point to this point. So if you take eight and a half from 19 centimetres, you're left with ten and a half. So what you do is you just measure in five and a quarter centimetres and mark it five and a quarter centimetres and mark it and do the same there and then fold using your so what I did was I used a ruler and a bowl tool and just marked it from there to there so we've got like this kind of going on so then what you do is you do this you move that in so that you've got a wee house shape so it looks like a wee house and once you've done that make sure all the creases are crisp and you've got your mechanism then you take another piece of paper this one is 20 centimeters so it's a it's a centimetre longer and it's eight and a half centimetres that way and what I did was I folded it at the ten centimetres and then the five centimetres and then the five centimetres at this way so then you have your wee bit that's going to go on your, your mechanism. The next thing is to do to find the middle of this. Now I've, I've faintly got it marked. Now your middle is where that. So what you do is you line the middle up. If you want, you know, you can bend it in half and just nip the two ends. So that you've got a mark there make sure that it's that part of your folds down match the two the centers up once you've matched the cent centers up you fold this one in and what you're doing is you need to glue this section So I'm going to glue that now. I'm going to use um, fabric tack and it's just one half you do. Right, just let me put the I'm just putting the lid on that because my fabric tack's been going a bit. Just make sure you've got the middles again and then just lay that down. Now because you you glued the top half when you fold this one in you glue the bottom so you can either do the top right and the bottom left or vice versa just 
so we put the, the lid on this. Right, when you put it on, make sure that your, your card's exactly in the middle. I'm just going to wipe that. Um, now what happens is... Let me and then what you do is you just and just push it in that's it it's these two not these it's these two you need to nip in <laughs> right it's going it's going it's going it's going sorry i just got myself all worked up there so so you just push it back like that so you've got this mechanism here so where you've got your house you've got one part of the the folds on this side and the other part of the folds on that side so if you there's me trying to fold it wrong so instead of folding it that way I should have been folding it that way so if you just take that the one piece that's not glued, the piece that's not glued and fold it over on the other one. Okay, then what you need is your card or whatever you're putting in your journal. Um, I've just got a piece of um, eco coffee dyed um, card. It just needs to be um, wide enough to, to, to hide the mechanism. So I'm not going to do it in with fabric tac because it's that one fabric tac's just not drying at all. So I'm just going to use this. And this is just a, a tacky, well it's a glitter glue. I've just dispensed it into a smaller, but it's quite tacky and it stays. So just make sure that that point is in at the, the edge of your card and fold that in like that and then fold it back in and turn it over, whoops, turn it over, make sure you don't do that and then I've already done one of these on video. I did it for a, a challenge with a group. <laughs> but I thought I'd do it on the interactive series and share it with everybody. Because they are quite fun to have in the journal series. And then what happens is when you, oh, you let it dry first, of course. Just hold it for a while. It's really muggy out. And then that's it. So when you open your, you, you can put it on your page if you want, or you can put it in a card. And then what you can do is you can decorate this. Um, let's see what I've got. So I've got some photographs that I already had just old bits of ephemera. I mean you can decorate the card up before you put the mechanism in. Um, I got this from my demo days uh, 
and when I used to run a craft club so and then you just put that in like that I've got one glue that runs too quick and I've got another glue that doesn't want to run at all. It must have kind of a blockage in the little funnel bit. I'll need to sort it out. And these are just old ephemera uh, adverts that I've had hanging about my desk for a while and they were all on a, a sheet. Um, that had to be honest I'd printed them off and they hadn't printed properly um, so I was just using the sheet just waiting to see what I could use and then when I was doing this I thought some of these photographs and that'll be handy for this so I just edged around there with ink and Waste not, want not. It depends if you're doing a journal for somebody, you know, that they've asked you to theme it. You could put whatever the theme is. Um, I'm going to be working on a um, tulips from Amsterdam. So I've got photographs of the centre of tulips so that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my photographs in the centre of the tulips in there and sometimes you have to help it but eventually it does and then you know you're opening your pages and there you've got it a nice little interactive bit for your journal so I hope you get something out of this it's um, just remember whatever the size of card you have what you have to do is the height there going from there to there has to be that's where your measurements are for the middle so if it's eight and a half you have to be eight and a half from that point to that point exactly in the middle so you just take your eight and a half from the actual length and then just divide it and work it back over and as long as you've got when you fold it you've got your wee house and one piece of the card goes on that part and the other piece goes on that part and when it opens you've got it okay so i'll see you in the next video